Um, Hasegaya san, will you please introduce yourself and say a few words yes. about yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Takeshi Hosogo. Uh, I was born in 1970 in Hamburg, Germany. So, and I actually graduated, graduated from a German school. And after that, I went to Japan to uh, get into university. Uh, currently, I'm in the management of a company called Alliance Motor Yekaterinburg. It's a Toyota dealer, uh, one of three dealers. Uh, it's the uh, Toyota Center South. Um, I'm here in Yekaterinburg since uh, 2010, so already two years. Uh, I learned Russian in 1997, so it's already uh, 15 years ago. So since then I was uh, being um, involved in Russian business. Uh, so that I think I knew a little bit about uh, Russian culture, language, so on. Um, um, Hosogoy yeah. san, uh, did you have any stereotypes of Russia or Russians before you came here the first time? Uh, actually, <clears throat> not so many. I think, yes, maybe there was this. Uh, it's actually not a stereotype, it's a fact that it's very cold, a lot of snow, and people are drinking a lot of vodka. And it, it's a kind of stereotype because it's not uh, it's just the winter time, which is. So cool. I didn't know that summertime is so beautiful, and I didn't know that uh, many people don't drink vodka. <laughs> so, uh, yes, there were stereotypes, and they're partly correct, but uh, mostly not correct. Okay, that's what I can say from my experience. But I tended to not to think about stereotypes. I think it's my background that I come from. A culture lived in other countries and experienced other uh, um, places. So. What are the places to go in Ekaterinburg, in your opinion, Hasegoyesan? Uh, if you think about um, interesting places like tourists, uh, not so many actually. <laughs> uh, it's obvious that you go to the uh, go to the cathedral on the blood. Um, but actually what I uh, try to do is uh, bring friends or people, Japanese uh, people coming to the city, I bring them to the uh, obelisk to show the uh, border between uh, Europe and Asia, which is near to uh, Peru, <laughs> Peru uh, It's more impressive than smaller one. <clears throat> and explain about uh, why they see understanding that here in the Ural you have the border between Europe and Asia. It's more interesting. It's not in the guidebooks. So what are places to eat? Where can we eat decent food and specifically Japanese food? Um, so I think these are two different questions actually, yes. And uh, yes, there are many good places, especially uh, if you're not talking about Russian food, it, I think you can have a lot of good Italian food here. Um, I personally like uh, the place like uh, Paparazzi in the um, Europe shopping center. If you talk about uh, Japanese food, it's a little bit dif uh, difficult because there are a lot of ja so-called Japanese restaurants, but um, as they say, they serve sushi. But with sushi, they mean just rolls, and rolls is just one type of dishes uh, out of hundreds and just providing dishes, uh, private rolls which are often with uh, so-called uh, Philadelphia cheese is not real Japanese food actually. There are some Japanese uh, restaurants like uh, which are not authentic but like Mio which is uh, in a good environment not typically Japanese but the food itself is very good while other places like uh, tanuki or wasabi are uh, very popular, but uh, none of our Japanese colleagues uh, would go there. Um, do you feel safe here in Ekaterinburg? Oh, 
would you like to give a word of uh, caution to people who come here, maybe a couple of tips concerning either safety or any other um, issues? I think in general, uh, what I experienced in the last two years is uh, that it's a relatively, relatively safe place. So, uh, especially daytime, I don't see any problems. Of course, there are some uh, regions in this, inside the city, maybe it's in the north, maybe it's in the south, um, which are not recommended to walk around. But uh, if you're in the center, I think you're quite safe. And if you just uh, look out that you are not walking around drunk and get involved in um, some troubles, especially young people, then I think uh, it's a more or less quiet place. Okay, that's a good son. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for your time. Okay, thank you.